<laughs> Hi, welcome back. We're live on the air. It's time for our new Friday segment called Nailed It or Failed It. So every week, Angie. Hi there, Angie. Hi. Going to bring us crafts, and we're doing uh, all of this to make it live during WQAD News 8 at 11. So, okay. you know, we pin these things all the time, but do yeah. they actually work? Well, we're going to do the hard work for you, and then we'll decide as a group if we nailed it or if we failed it. So okay. today, okay. we are making these little well, autumn those are cute. I mason like those. jar candle holders. Oh, oh God, there's fire involved. So, there is fire involved. But okay. yeah, so this is oh, what it's really, really supposed pretty. to kind of look like. Okay. So, you can use this with like free. You know, free stuff, oh, which are the leaves in your front yard. Yeah. Which okay. So take a mason water. jar. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. Right. This comes from a, D, um, a DIY blog called Spark and Chemistry. So I'm less nervous now. What you're than going I was. to do <laughs> is you're going to have a sponge brush, sponge okay. brush, you. and you use the Mod Podge, okay, as glue. Mod Podge. Mod Podge. Okay. Whoop. Hold on. That's all right. That's Stand by. New. That's good. At least it's brand is, new. Yeah, it is brand new. Okay. So just dip your okay. little brush in there. And then put it on the And then the put sides, it on right? the sides and then put a leaf. Can we switch spots? Yes. That's okay. fine. Whatever you need to do. That'll be next to, to Jonathan. Then. Yeah. So. There you go, Eric. Okay. Let's see how this Careful, works. buddy. <laughs> Careful. So we do it all over? Oh, uh, just, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. Go for it. Okay. Why not? Just try to, you know, you can use your fingers. She even says There's on the blog Kyle. to use your fingers. Okay. So I cut up some leaves here for you. So the cool thing, so you could use fake leaves too. Um, okay. The leaves in my front yard are super crunchy. You know, they're dark brown. They're kind of dirty looking, and they're crunchy. So as I walk Zuno, how do you hold on to this while you're? Well, yeah, just maybe. Maybe it. just do, maybe just do part of it, and okay. then yeah, okay. Okay. My grade school. Yeah, you can put on this towel. Okay. It's fine. Okay. Good. I brought this towel. All right. Okay. So I did that. Yep. So you just kind of lay the leaf on there, and you're kind of like waiting for the Mod Podge to get sticky too. You know, so it's gonna kind of like take a little while. So. Okay. Um, anyway, so I found these leaves while walking around the neighborhood with Zuno because we Zuno. just have, be you guys all know, we have beautiful uh -huh. leaves in our neighborhood. Stuart. Stuartville, baby. So, um, so that's how I found all these that's colorful so leaves. Okay. So you just kind of need She's to like keep placing them, yeah, and holding them. And you know, you're okay. waiting for it to dry a little bit. Did I bit. put enough sure. on there or should I just I mean, and then you could also put Mod Podge over the leaves. Oh, and it kind of because it. It, it dries clear, so that's the cool part. So it's kind of like Elmer's glue. It is it kind goes. of like Elmer's glue, exactly. Yeah, that's what I yeah. was thinking. That, I mean, that's um, what it looks like. And speaking of Elmer's glue, I have this multi-purpose spray adhesive. So okay. I don't like getting my fingers sticky. Okay. I don't like getting them all wet. Um, so I, um, you know, like last night when I was making my jar, uh -huh. I definitely was in the mindset that this is a fail. This is a failed it. This it was not, not going well. Work. And then I had the idea that maybe one. I should use some spray adhesive and maybe that would work a little bit better. As opposed to this As glue opposed, that you know, with. if you don't want to get sticky and really okay. messy and don't want to have to get the sponge brush, but you can do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. This morning though, when I woke up and I saw that it dried clear, I was like, oh, nailed it. So you like the spray adhesive better so, than the Well, glue. yeah, I like, I like both. I mean, okay. I didn't get the spray adhesive until after I made this. So, you know, whatever you'd like to do, but okay. I would say the spray adhesive also works. Okay. Right. So you guys you are just going to town, aren't you? Brown one on there. Yeah. I'm good. actually like liking it? it. I'm liking this idea. And, and they I, say like, and the girl and says crafty. on the blog to leave some negative space. So you don't have to cover the whole jar oh, okay. because then the light shines through from the candle, oh, right? Oh, nice. So, okay, yeah. well, I kind of did that. So, right. And you got that from You're the blog? Right there. I got, yeah, a blog called Look. Spark and Chemistry. Okay. She's got really, really um, good ideas okay. on there. So we thought it would just kind of be something easy. I mean, really all we paid for was the mason jars, yeah. the hodge, the mod, what, mod, mod podge, podge. Uh, the spray adhesive if you want to do that, sponge brushes if you want to pay for them, and then the leaves for free, you know? So This is really, really you cool, like it? Angie. I I like it a lot. And then lot. I just took some like little ribbon, you know, got that. some ribbon at the store, you know, and um, you could just put it around there and make it a little yeah. bow. And look at that. You have a little centerpiece wow. for your Thanksgiving table pretty? and things like that. So keep gluing. I want to mm -hmm. see um, how they dry pretty. after the okay. break. Okay. So we'll go to a break and I have a little um, gift for you guys too for being such good sports on this. You guys oh. have made a mess, by the way. So let's clean that up while we're at the break too. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs>
Here's the answer <laughs> to our trivia question. Earlier we asked you, Gilmore Girls returns on November 25th. What state is the show set in? It's DJ from Oz City. <laughs> it's Connecticut. Yeah, DJ Good wins uh, Daryl Bush Art Show <laughs> gift card, which starts today. Yeah, so this is the problem. It gets very, very sticky. Jonathan made a mess over here. So thanks, thanks, Angie. I'm sorry, but you did. But what do we think? I mean, here's here's Jonathan's. Can we sh show that? We yeah. Got a uh -huh. shot? Well, you know, I, that's good. We don't need to zoom Jonathan, in on it. I think, but you know oh, what? Yeah. God, that's <laughs> no, remember, this, <laughs> it'll dry it dries oh, yeah, clear. It dries clear. And you know what? I think the candle adds a little red to it. So maybe you know you had a strategy going on with this. That's really cool. I Eric, think, I really I think like Beth yours is going to love that. Yeah. Can you do you mind doing that? So, <laughs> uh, Jonathan, so Beth, romantic. Beth is going to love you. Mm -hmm. So you bring any that home any to her good tonight. crafter knows that when you craft, you have to have oh. a little drink. So yeah. last Friday we were doing beer. This Friday we're doing oh, my wine. pick, which is wine. So and this nice. is from Wide River Winery, local winery. This is their Harvest Hurrah. So, so the point is for Jonathan, he gets the wine after he's done. And not before. Yes, yes, because yes. this, this, <laughs> folks, this was me before I had any wine. So um, keep that I know. In mind. See, yeah, that's but all you know right. What? I feel like when I have a little bit of wine, I that's take great. away all judgment, and the craft becomes better. Right. You know, yeah. it all works out in the end. So. But this sounds so, like something like this is a girls' night for what, like a Friday or Saturday night? I feel like like this is something that they could easily do. Sure. Right? I mean, yeah, whatever you want to do. I mean, Girls I, I don't night. know. This is what I'm doing. On <laughs> <night>. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, yours looks great. So cheers. Hey. Hey. Nailed our path. I think, Guys, I think this what do you is, think? I think this is a nailed it. You think it's a nailed it? I think it? our very think first so, nailed it or failed it is a success. Good, Thumbs good. Up. Well, if you would like to see how we sure. made these, you can go to our website, wqad.com. We'll put all the instructions on there. Just type nailed it in the search box. Mm -hmm. And if you do make this, please send us pictures. Share them with me on my yeah. WQAD Angie Sharp Facebook page. Mm -hmm. I want to see them. And, so. and give us ideas for next Friday. Yes, yes. We need ideas. You can also go to our Pinterest page. WQAD actually has a Pinterest page. That's awesome. So go on there, save some, oh, wow. you know, yeah. share some stuff with us. And um, yeah, we'll see what we make next Friday. So. Yeah. Kudos anyway. to you for doing this, by the way. Hey. Very good idea. All right, both of my hands are now glued together, but I do have the seven or the eight-day forecast. <laughs> see, see, it's like they're they're stuck. <laughs> I know. Uh, let's take a look at the forecast here as we head into the weekend. We've got sunshine for today, 59, 57, great for tomorrow, up into the 60s here as we look in toward the uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday <laughs> time frame, and some showers and storms. We hope you all have a happy Veterans Day and a great weekend. Bye. Bye, bye, -bye everybody.